you will seriously be surprised at how much clothes I have that aren't even in my room. on with my spring cleaning this month, I am going to share with you my massive ruthless declutter of my wardrobe. I definitely had to do this because I had so much clothes that was taking up way too much room in my mom's closet. I still have some clothes left over that I won't get rid of right now, but later on down the line as I try on my clothes every year, which is what I like to do now to help me to declutter, I will get rid of them. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my huge massive ruthless declutter of my wardrobe and I will show you a little bit of how I started to organize everything. I still have a lot of clothes left over and a lot of them still have to sit in my parents room which is okay because well, I don't know why that's okay. I'm just gonna say it. it's okay to have clothes. Not everyone is a minimalist. Not everyone grew up in the same household or have the same lifestyle so take it however you want to take it. I still have a lot of clothes but it's significantly less than I used to have and a lot of this clothes went to my local church and a lot more of those clothes went to my cousin. So let's just get into the video. I'm so excited about this. These are bins of clothes that I keep in my mom's closet year after year. Before I decided to film this video, I was already organizing things so I already folded and organized my sweaters and these are the other sweaters that I decided to donate to my cousin or give to her and these other vacuum packed bags full of clothes I just dumped them all out sorted through them folded whichever ones that I wanted to keep and also folded the ones that I wanted to donate or give away to my cousin and I organized this in terms of sweaters lighter weight shirts things like that I also tried on a lot of shirts to see if they still fit. You can see my piles right here. I have lighter weight shirts, heavy sweaters, and lighter sweaters. I have these piles of cardigans based on which ones I would wear during the spring, summer, fall, winter, and I started to put them away in my dad's armoire. I can't believe how much clothes I had stuffed in these bins, by the way, and I organize these every year and they still get really messy. So doing this every year helps me to keep track of what I have and to reorganize them. I have these giant plastic bags that my mom gave to me and I just put them all in there for the church or for my cousin. Even though the bins were really messy, they were still organized by season. So clearly this bin was for summer clothes because I had a lot of tank tops and dresses. And I start to make piles just like I did for all the other ones. So I took out all of my summer clothes and I started to pack the armoire with them. And here I was putting away my long sleeve shirts. I was putting away my sweaters, things that I wear in the fall and winter. And with the power of teamwork, I kicked these bins over to my mom and she slid them into her closet. If you were wondering, this entire process took a lovely three and a half hours. Here is the finished look. I have cardigans up here for the spring and summer. I have shorts here. I believe those are tank top dresses. These are all rompers and jumpsuits. I have t-shirts here, tank tops here, more tank tops. In the back, I have dresses and actually I think that's pretty much all dress stuff. In this bottom drawer, I have pants that I used to wear to work and to college. So pants that look really nice with pretty much anything. I have my spring summer pants. These are more spring pants. They're this kind of material, lighter weight. I have another pile of those pants and more dressy pants for work if I ever get a job. I have denim shirts here that I can just use to throw on top of shirts for a more casual look if I don't want to wear a cardigan. And that's it for this drawer. I only have this drawer and the 
top shelves over there. This one still belongs to my parents. Clothes that I will wear now for the spring, I have them all on this rack. I have my flowy tops that are lightweight and I have my colorful printed pants. I have a cardigan here that I like to wear with most of the things that I wear. And as you can see the situation with this closet, I can't really get back in there and show you. I did share with you before in the earlier clips, my mom pushing those bins into the back of the closet. So that's basically all of my winter clothes and other clothes that I definitely know that I'm not going to wear anytime soon, but still would like to keep because they are staples in my collection or my wardrobe. If you're wondering, this is going to be another declutter video. And I wanted to show you that I did fix up my tank top drawer I think I already fixed this up in my last declutter video. I don't remember, but it looks a lot neater now and it's color coordinated and everything. But tank tops that are plain, they went into this drawer instead of going into the armoire just because there's more room in here and I like to have all my plain tank tops here. I know it's kind of crazy. This is why I don't really know how to shop for shirts, but I have a lot of plain tank tops here and tank tops are my favorite. I hate t-shirts. And I also wanted to share with you that I have a drawer of shorts here. So I do have more shorts and I have skirts in here as well. I know clothes shopping is a really fun thing to do, but it could be really difficult for a lot of us because sometimes you want things that are really trendy and there are a lot of staples out there that you wanna get, but you don't know exactly how many you should buy. Like how many white t-shirts should I have? How many pairs of blue jeans should I have? Honestly, if you spend a little bit of money, if you invest in really good, high quality pieces we don't need like a million of them jeans last for years on end if you know how to take care of them but shirts could be a little bit tricky because especially for women our weight fluctuates and things just don't fit the same year after year which is why it's all the more important that you make smart choices about buying clothes you know that things go out of shape things go out of style try to stick with classic pieces things that you can wear not in certain seasons but things that you can wear every season you know cardigans i love buying a lot of even blazers if that's what you like to wear to work or to school that's nice and good pairs of jeans definitely invest in your jeans because a lot of jeans that are cheaper don't hold well enough in the wash i can't even help you with shirts because i can't even help myself with the shirts thing i just buy whatever i like and that have a little bit of give things that are stretchy things that could be a little more loose fitting because my weight does go up and down subscribe to see more videos for me i post every tuesday thursday and saturday and i would love to see you guys back remember to live a simple more meaningful life Check out my last wardrobe declutter video. I share with you how to maximize your drawer space. Click on the link in the description box or you can click on the video in the end screen.